Welcome to Bringing It All Together and a new chapter in the Rust and Martin story. Building on their rich history of quality furniture and expert design, Rust and Martin begins an era with the opening of a new design studio at Regents Park on North Kings Highway in Cape. Let's join owner Mike Rust. Well, everybody, welcome to the new Rust and Martin Interior Design Showroom. Here we are at the Regents Park building, and you get to take a tour with me today through our showroom. So look, look for that sign, come on in, let's take a look at the tour. To begin the tour, you have to understand that the space that we actually rented was only a concrete floor, had sheetrock on the ceiling, and that was it, nothing else. Totally bare. So we had to take this space and make it into the perfect, which I think is the perfect interior design studio. Uh, you know, our business has gone through many transitions. My dad started his interior design studio over 60 years ago. Our business is now 78 years old this year. Uh, my grandfather started it. We have gone through a very large furniture showroom. We had almost 50,000 square feet of furniture at one time back in the 70s and 80s. We shrunk it down to about 22, 23,000 square feet. And now because of the business and the way our customers have asked us to do business, we're now down to a design showroom because we special order most everything that we do in your house. So it's not that we don't have furniture and you're going to get to see it, but we have the perfect interior, interior design studio here. We had to start off with an idea of how we were going to bring retail space into this building. And I, and I think we came up with a great idea with the front doors. I love these doors. They have a little bit of an art deco feel to them gives a great presentation to uh, Rustin Martin and like I said not everything's finished we're gonna have Rustin Martin right here and right here but you know at the time of shooting we just don't have the signs in so when you see these black doors this is our showroom let's go in and take a look at it now okay now we're in the entry um, the entry we felt was very important to have straight off of the hallway in the Regents Park building so it was easily identifiable now that sounds very logical, but when you put the entry here, there were some actual very functional problems in the building and how we had to deal with them. So today's program is going to be a little bit about why did we build our showroom the way that we have and showing the architecture and some advantages to the CAD design uh, that we do down at our kitchen shop. It's going to show you how we actually manage the space. And also, I'm going to just take you through and show you some absolutely beautiful new product uh, that we have in the showroom. So we get to see some of the pretty stuff, we get to see some of the architecture all together. This entry, uh, you know, I wanted to stay very classic, and uh, you guys know me that the, the, the bones of a house, meaning anything that is um, permanent or semi-permanent, I like to be conservative with. Now, you can say a black and cream floor, it's pretty dramatic. Is it conservative? I think it is. Uh, it never dates. If I had this floor 25 years ago, you would think it still looks good. And here we are in 2011, and I have a black and cream floor, and I fully believe in 10 years, people will walk in this entry and still think it looks good. What did I do different with this black and cream floor, though? So Chuck, let's pan down a little bit. Um, this is just a black granite floor, is all there is, and an 18-inch square. But what we did a little bit different, instead of coming right back uh, and putting another piece of granite in, we put in marble in its home. So what you get with this is a very mirror finish on the granite, and the honed marble then gives a flat finish. Not only is it a great contrast to color, but it gives you a great contrast of mixing uh, surfaces that have some interest in it also. So that's just one small design aspect that I thought was important to give a little bit of an old, a little bit of a new look to it. Again, we came back, we balanced off all this great woodwork in black, and it becomes a wonderful set for any color that I want to throw in this entry. So I love my entry, pretty excited about it. Uh, we'll be able to change this wallpaper out, and all of the bones, meaning the, the woodwork and the floor, will stay exactly the same. So wonderful. Wait, let's look at this sofa. Uh, this sofa is by Carol Bolton. Uh, she is, has been one of our uh, favorite lines to work with. It's a very eclectic line, and you can see here that she puts different fabrics on the fronts, the backs. I don't even know how many trims and fabrics there are on this sofa. It's all down, which is pretty much the way we like our showroom, down pedals and down seats. It gives a very casual, relaxed look to it, and we thought it was a great way to open up the Rustin Martin entry with a Carol Bolton sofa. Let's go take a look at some more. Well, what's great about a new showroom, too, is, is that I get to buy all new stuff. And virtually every item in this showroom is brand new. We planned for it. We brought it in. We had to do our merchandising mix kind of interesting because 
Uh, you know, we sell sofas that are relatively simple and for the family room. Then we sell sofas that are very elaborate for the living room. And so the question was, do we show our average sofas, not average bad, just, you know, a pretty typical sofa, or do we show things that people haven't seen before? So I always go towards what I think is a little more dramatic and exciting. So most of the product you're going to see in here are, are individual items that we would place in your home. They're room starters. Uh, they are pieces of furniture that d maybe don't transfer very well out of the catalog and just look better in, in person. So I'm going to take you through some of the jewels. Um, let's just talk, since I'm on the subject of sofas, let's just talk about how do you special order a sofa and know that it's going to sit well. And I have this question by every single customer because I say, look, I want you to buy this frame because it's going to match what we're doing in this certain fabric. And they're going, wait, wait, I don't even know how it sits. What's it feel like? Well, first of all, very honestly, I don't have any upholstery that's uncomfortable. Uh, the manufacturer doesn't have much of an incentive to develop a sofa or a chair that's uncomfortable. It won't sell. If I walk into their showroom and sit on it and it's uncomfortable, I'm not going to buy it, which then it's never going to hit the retail. So they have every incentive in the world to make it comfortable. Now, how do they do that? It's all about ergonomics of the human body. And this is kind of, this is so basic, but it's interesting. If I had a man here that was six foot two and I'm five foot seven, eight some days, but five foot seven, um, believe it or not, from his hip bone down to his knee might be an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches longer than what mine is. So think about that. When you sit down, that's what bends. So what you want is a sofa that's going to fit you from here to here. Now I'm going to show this. The smallest piece of upholstery I have in my showroom. And you might look at that and say, that's just like dollhouse furniture, and it kind of is. But watch, I'm going to go and I'm going to sit, and my back, where my hip is, and where my deep knee breaks, is exactly where it needs to be. I'm sitting, it's comfortable, I have the arms at the right height, so ergonomically, this sofa fits me perfectly. Now, I'm going to take you over to the largest sofa we have in the showroom. Um, that sofa is almost 50 inches high. It's about 49, 50 inches deep. The sofa I sat in over there was probably about 32 inches deep. Now watch this though. Watch the exact same thing and look where I'm sitting. I have pillows to make up the difference in the back because from here to here, sofa depths average between 21 and 24 inches in depth. Okay, so you can see that I have a large sofa here, I sat in a small sofa, and ergonomically it still fits me exactly the same way. So that's why that when we special order sofas, I can almost guarantee you it's going to fit right. Now, that doesn't mean you might like one seating sofa over another. This one has down in it, it has down cushions here, I can put fiber in it, I can put fiber cushions in back. That will change the way each sofa sits, and that's something that when you come into our showroom, we can show you what the differences in those, those different types of pillow casings are. This one has down, I love it. It tends to melt when you lay back into it. You sit into our sofas. I know everyone out there has sat on a sofa and you've done this and you feel like you're perched on it. You're sitting on top of it. I bet you right now someone's sitting on a sofa right now and you're perched. It's hard. And here's the reason why. They put an inexpensive piece of foam on the inside. It doesn't compress when you sit on it. These sofas compress. You have a lot of give. So when you sit on it, you sit into it. So if you ever sit on a sofa, usually it's inexpensive. Usually it has a uh, piece of foam in there that's not good. And also, the one thing that you hate more than anything, how many of you guys right now have these flat throw pillows sitting right next to you, and they're this thin. They started out here, and now they're down to bed. It's a man-made fiber. These are down. These are lifetime cushions. They will stay fat and plump and beautiful like that forever. So that's why upholstery is not that big a deal to, to uh, uh, special order for you. I take you through my showroom. I can watch you sit in chairs and sofas and tell you exactly what fits you. Uh, special order for us, believe it or not, is 98%, probably 99% of our business. Meaning that people come in, are very particular about what they want. They also want something uniquely unique to their home. You know, you don't come in here and we're not going to sell 10 of these this year. We're going to sell one ever. We will never rebuy it. That one customer that buys it will have it solely in their house. And frankly, this is probably the only sofa, in Missouri at least, exactly like this. So you sell one-of-a-kind items and that makes a little bit of a more unique home for you. Let me show you another piece that we haven't had for a while. This is a wonderful little secretary desk. Uh, it has, it is black chinoiserie. Uh, chinoiserie is just a word in, in French that basically means uh, Japaning or Japan um, uh, 
drawing and calligraphy. Uh, we have not seen this as a style category for almost 20 years. It is, leans itself towards an 18th century English type of house. We are now starting to see a pretty big movement away from European country into a little bit of a more of a formal, form, formalized um, uh, type of styling. Uh, not dressy and stuffy, but there's formality that's occurring. With 18th century, black chinoise would go beautiful. And I think this is great. This is all hand done. It has gesso on it, so there's, it's raised up a little bit here. Uh, they always do little fun things like little tiny hidden spots in the top of the desk or behind the doors. So you can put your, I'm not even sure, let's put money in there. Uh, but I think this is just a great little jewel for a place to tuck in the corner or that spot in your room you're just not sure what to do with. Beautiful little piece. All right, we're gonna go take a look at the Ralph Lauren sofa we just got in.